Bag bounties are a problem. Um, do you know what hmm. a bag bounty is? Bag bounty, no, but that sounds interesting. Yeah, so a bag bounty is something that basically you get an email that says, hi, I found a bug in your product service, whatever else, I'm waiting for a response. You respond and then they immediately ask you for money. They're like, well, mm. well my work isn't free. If you wanna know what this problem is, then you have to pay me. And then you, if you were to pay them, they would come back and tell you that you have some incredibly low level bug that is not very important or an issue at all. And um, they probably found it from some automated scanner. So companies usually um, are pretty sketched out to work with like no name security researchers mm -hmm. who hit them up because they get beg bounties all the time. This is just something that is an unpleasant part of uh, having a product or having a service is people hit you up and try to ask you for money constantly. So one of the reasons we tell people who are, you know, like letting a company who doesn't know, doesn't have a bug bounty program know about some sort of issue uh, that they shouldn't ask for money is because it looks like this. And because so many people will come at these non-technical business owners purporting to have found some very serious vulnerability and demanding some sort of money for compensation, um, a lot of the time they either don't listen to these emails anymore because they can't tell the serious ones from the, the spam ones or um, they immediately, as soon as you ask for money, will just assume that you're a criminal or you are a scammer. So this is like a, a real world example of why it's so difficult for people um, to report these sorts of things. Because um, if you don't get uh, really like a technical sense of what's going on and you just get these emails constantly, you're not really gonna wanna listen when somebody tells you that the real thing is happening. Um, so if anybody has gotten these uh, these bag bounties, I personally have gotten multiple of them. Hmm. Um, and uh, I just, I absolutely hate them because um, they don't do anything to help the community. They, they really just make security researchers look bad and they make it much harder for people to do things like, you know, do excellent security work and then maybe ask for compensation because it immediately makes them seem like a scammer and probably will really turn off whatever business they're talking to. So um, yeah, a lot of younger security researchers don't understand that, but these are the kinds of things that they are up against when it comes to notifying a company about a potentially serious issue.